Hello, my name is Janet Canodal. I'm the Extension Entomologist for NDSU. Today I'm going to talk to you about scouting for pea leaf weevil. Pea leaf weevil was first discovered near Beach in Golden Valley County, southwestern North Dakota in the fall of 2016. Pea leaf weevil infests cultivated and wild legume species, including field pea, faba bean, alfalfa, and dry bean. However, economic damage only occurs on field peas and fava beans. Clover and alfalfa serve as secondary hosts, but larvae do not develop fully on these crops. Chickpeas and lentils are not known to be a host of pea leaf weevil. The current distribution of pea leaf weevil is in northwestern, north central, and southwestern areas of North Dakota. For identification, the adult is a weevil about 3 16th of an inch long, slender, grayish brown with a broad snout and has three light stripes on the thorax. It's often confused with the sweet clover weevil, which is fe featured in the top picture on the right side. The sweet clover weevil does not have the three light stripes on the thorax. Larvae are legless and white with a dark brown head capsule and range from 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch long. They curl into a C shaped when disturbed. Adult weevils over winter and alfalfa and other perennial legumes, roadside ditches, and shelter belts. Adults will emerge in the spring as temperatures rise above 55 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit. They fly into spring seeded field peas or fava beans. Adult pea leaf weevil will feed on the leaves, causing half moon notched appearance along the leaf margin. Adults mate and females lay eggs singly near the soil surface near the developing host plant from May to June. Each female can lay between 1,000 to 3,000 eggs. After two to three weeks, eggs will hatch. Newly hatched larvae will burrow into the soil to find and feed on nitrogen-fixing root nodules. Larvae develop through five instars or grow stages in four to eight weeks. Mature larvae pupate in the soil. The pupae stage is a non-feeding development stage without plant damage. The new generation of adults emerge during late July and into August. Adult will search out pulse or related forage crops and feed on the vegetation before seeking overwintering sites in the fall. Adults, as I mentioned earlier, feed on the early clam leaves, causing a symmetrical pattern of half moon notches. This leaf feeding by the adult typically does not result in yield loss because the crop usually compensates and recover. However, larvae feeding on the nitrogen-fixing bacteria within the root nodules causes significant damage. This damage reduces the soil and plant available nitrogen for the current and future crops and results in poor plant growth and lower crop yields. Scouting should occur when the crops have just emerged in the spring especially when weevil populations are high. Look for the half moon leaf notches on the lowest leaves of the plant along the field edge first. To establish an average number of plants with leaf notches, scout the field and sample 10 seedlings per 10 sampling sites in the field. Five sampling sites near the field edge and five sampling sites about 35 yards into the field. Space sampling sites in the field about 25 yards apart. 
calculate an average that you have for the notching. And this is used to help you determine if you need a foliar insecticide application. The economic threshold is reached when 30% of the plants have half moon shaped feeding notches on the clam leaves. For a successful foliar insecticide control, insecticide should be applied before the female weevil has had the opportunity to lay eggs to prevent yield loss caused by larvae feeding on the root nodules. Research studies have shown that insecticide seed treatments are more effective than foliar insecticide sprays. The reason why is because of the long window of weevil emergence in the spring and the multiple movements into the fields. For more information, see our NDSU publications on pea leaf weevil or the Pulse Crop Insect Diagnostic Series. Just Google the title and NDSU. Thanks to the support for the, from the Northern Pulse Growers Association, please feel free to send me any questions to my email address listed. Thank you and have a good day.